Right guys, I haven't gone 5G yet and I'm about to. The iPhone 5.2S came out about last August. Uh, a few people may already have this, but probably a lot don't have. So I'm just going to open it with my trusty, trusty little pin. Nothing too deep, too sharp or nothing. So, in here we get quite a big screen phone. I think it's like 6.3. Or is it bigger? You can check the specs in the bit below. I think it's 6.3 because this is 6.5 this is a Motorola that costs only 100 pounds which is in the in my videos uh, below if you check out my other videos that is um, you've got a USB C charge lead and the power there and probably some paperwork in the middle of the lid there's a little box there Oops, opened out a bit quickly, but uh, in there we've got the little paperwork, the warranties, probably a little start guide is there, start guide, yeah, quick start guide. On the back, on the back is the seam removal pin. So all I have to do is take my SIM card out of my existing phone, which I've now in upgraded to 5G put it in here it's got a nice uh, metal alloy edge um, now it's got a glass front Corning Gorilla glass I think version 4 or 5 the back is plastic it's actually quite a thin cheap feeling plastic but if you've got a cover that potentially isn't going to be a problem the camera set up, they're quite, they're quite big. Which is one of the reasons I quite fancy getting this. This is 64 megapixel camera. So how to change the SIM card on a Samson A52 or any other Samson. It's actually at the top here. You push the pin in and it pops up and then you can grab it so in there you've got <clears throat> your sim card slots but you can also I believe add and that's a sim and that's a sim you can add a micro SD card now this phone doesn't come with the cover the charger is a 15 watts 2 amps Put the SIM card in already. This comes with Android 11 and is upgradable to Android 12. So I've done all the Google Play apps installed for my account and there's loads of updates. It wasn't doing them automatically and the button to update all of them didn't seem to be there which is rather annoying. But now we're going to check to see if Android 12 update is ready. So you click about phone, go to settings, about phone. And then we've got the model number, software. We've got Samsung's One UI version 3.1. Android version 11. And a security patch for November now there's an update a system update this is 600 meg so I think this is going to be more of a system update than it is Android 12 to see if Android 12 is available software update Right, it's checking for updates and it's downloading an update it's 
this is 200 megabytes this is a security patch so let's install the security patch it's rebooted and now it's just updating and optimizing software update it said this phone was up to date but haha -ha, it's doing another update here and this looks like a much bigger file here we go Samsung One UI 4 upgrade Android 12 once it's downloaded it will ask you install or schedule install now Now the Samsung phone is upgraded to Android 12 and One UI 4.